Hi, Josh. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, I guess it, I guess just going off of that, you know, there are so many people that having the length of the career that you've had, if, if they wouldn't have seen results within the first few years, they're packing it up, they're heading out. But what kept you going? What kept you pursuing that playing time that you eventually got to have? Yeah, just well, that's tough because I've been asked that quite a few times, you know, and really just perseverance, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of guys I know, and they don't really get the opportunity, so they 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 pack it up and quit, you know what I mean, and move on with the rest of their lives. But and I've been doing this for so long, and I love this game that I want my opportunity. You know, I I feel like I won't stop until I get that opportunity to play. And I feel like I just getting started, even though I'm about to be 30 years old. I feel like I have a lot of miles on me left. So, well, uh, and I also wanted to ask, you know, how much do you know about Arthur Smith? What what are you looking forward to about getting to play? with him as your head coach and in his scheme? Yeah, at first I didn't really know a lot about him, to be completely honest with you, you know what I mean? I knew he was a former O-lineman, you know what I mean? So I just off that, you know, I, I feel like I we had a connection just from when the first time I met him. So I was like, okay, just from meeting him and talking to him, I know what he, know what he wants. He has a vision, and I'm on board with his vision. Cool. Thank you. Kelsey? Hey, Josh, are you more comfortable at left or right guard? Uh, either one, really. Like, wherever they need me to play, I can play. You know, I, I feel like I've had enough experience at both left and right that if you put me in the game, I can go out there and produce. And obviously, you're aware, but the Falcons have a hold of fill at left guard. How much are you looking forward to the opportunity to compete for not just a job on the roster, but potentially a starting job? Oh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know, and it's my dream to start in this league, you know, and I feel like I can do that. That me being just a veteran now, uh, it's, it's strange to say, but I'm a veteran. I feel like I can come in um, hitting the ground running and, and, and just take take that spot. So that's my goal, come in, compete, you know, make the team better, and I feel like I can do that. Thanks. Cody from Fox, you got anything? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, D Led, you want any follow ups? Oh, you're muted, D Led. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, Josh, how, what did you do in 17? Um, how tough was that being out? And did you think you'd get another shot? Uh, I broke my hand, you know what I mean? Okay. Right in the first day of pads, I broke my hand. So that was tough, you know what I mean? I feel like that was my year to actually, like, go in and, and, and play, you know what I mean? But it was tough because I, I got bounced to the practice squad. You know, I let my hand heal. But just going in that run all the way to the Super Bowl, it, it was an it was incredible year. You know, pra practice squad or not, like, if you're on that squad, you're grinding with those guys. You're you're in the mix just – and if some, somebody gets hurt, you can be thrown in the game just like that. So I feel like I took it as that approach. And it was an, it was an incredible year that we had, you know, and, and – Memories I'll never forget with those guys. So you were there when the Falcons uh, ended on the one yard line there, hey? Yeah, yeah, I was there for that game. That was Jalen Mills, right? Yeah, 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 I remember that. Jeez. Well, then, then, what was the transition like leaving there and you know trying to establish yourself with the Colts? Man, it, it was a, it was a tough transition just because I don't even know because uh, Frank Wright. He's the one who, okay, who connection. I knew from Philly. You know what I mean. So we had a good connection there. And then when I went there, we had Ryan Kelly in front of me at center, and then they had Quentin Nelson at left guard. And so two like those dudes can play ball. You know what I mean. And just learning from them, just learning like techniques from them. And when I got into play, things just picked up where they left off. And I felt like that was a good good role for me at that point. You know what I mean. But I don't know, just, I'm trying to find another role on this team, Atlanta, whatever that is, whatever they need me to do, I feel like I'll be able to fit that role whenever I get there. Mm -hmm. uh, how much center have you played? Was Were you a center in college or, or in the pros you had to learn how to do as much as you could? Or, or how much center have you played? My first two years at Oregon State, I was a center. And then I transitioned okay. to guard. And then when I got to the NFL, they put me back at center. And then I've been bouncing left from center to left guard with the Colts. I've had some snaps of center. I, was, I played a couple games of center, the Colts, and then really just bouncing back and forth from center to guard. And, and feel like at this point, I'm, I'm comfortable with playing either or.
Mm -hmm. Did they describe this as an open competition here for, you know, because the Mac, Mac is gone and Carpenter were their starters or, you know, and they got, you know, Hennessy and Gano and you and Lindstrom. I mean, is this the open competition or what have they told you about the situation here? You know, I talked to Coach Smith about it and he was like saying the best players will play. You know what I mean? And, and I like that approach is because like with a new start, you don't know what you're going to get, what scheme you're going to get. And I feel like when camp comes around, you just keep on developing, developing, and whoever is hitting the ground running, that's who you roll with. And I feel like just talking to him, I feel like that's the approach he's going to take. And I, I, I want to take that and run with it, you know? So. Tori, you got anything else? Yeah, I'll just add one, one more question. Um, how much do you know about this group that you're joining? You know, they are still a fairly young group. Uh, how, how do you feel as though, I know there's, you know, all this competition and everything like that, but, you know, this is still a team. How how do you feel as though you can kind of help these young guys along, especially considering everything that you've seen over your career? Yeah, I bring that, that veteran leadership, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to do that as best, as much as I can. You know, I, I, I don't know how too, too many veterans on this team, you know what I mean? The, but all, all I know is what I can bring to the table, and that's my leadership, my my veteran experience, and I'm, I feel like when I get to Atlanta, that's what I'm going to bring to the table. So.